It's in the game. It's in the game. The veteran punter Bradley Pinion has this one teed up, and we are underway from Atlanta. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. And you'd think as a young QB there'd be some nerves leading an offense out to start a game, but haven't seen any sign of them right now. And speaking with him earlier this week, sense that the pressure wouldn't get to him. He feels comfortable being the face of this offense and shouldering the expectations on game day, even if he doesn't quite have the years of experience other quarterbacks do. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From the 24 now, here's second down and seven. And off the option, he'll try and run with it. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper and a first down. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game. And all that preparation, it goes right out the window. And a little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Second and five. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this is taken in by Darnell Mooney. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. And that's a run that will energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Looking to throw. Williams. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to bring up second down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They'll toss it out right to Herbert. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. 50 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. They've taken this opening kickoff and marched it right down the field defensively. Not much resistance. And that's the point because my admiration is for the guys moving the ball right now. They know what they're doing. Their plan is working. But I flip it over and watch and say, okay, what are you going to do to change things up? Because if you don't, they're going to put that ball in the end zone real soon. They'll run here with Herbert. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago. Khalil Herbert taking it in from a yard out. And the Bears get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. 
Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Santos able to tack on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. So here are the Falcons now as they get set for their opening possession. And a look at a guy, definitely got a little razzle-dazzle to him. Can do it with his arm or his legs. They're mobile QB. And there's a word that constantly gets thrown around with this guy when you talk to anyone in the building. Potential. They are sky high on what they believe he can grow into in the role of a starting quarterback. In addition, there are plenty around the league who think that as well. And years from now, he can still be leading this offense out. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try and hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Second and ten. First carry of the game now for the Texas superstar, B. John Robinson. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A first down and then some, 36 yards. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively. And then they got hit with that big play. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. On the counter, this is Robinson. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. No sweat from Montez Sweat that time as he makes that stop look easy. <laughs> I think sometimes when you're trying to get after the quarterback, maybe it's better to be lucky than great because I think on that one, he's just trying to get upfield and rush the passer. Instead, the tackle for the loss landed right in his lap. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Shifts by him, and he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for six yards, and that's going to make it fourth down. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. And now where will the side judge stop his walk? That's the question. He says it crossed out of bounds at about the 17-yard line. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. 
And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing, and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Williams now throwing to start the drive. Dropping this underneath with Herbert. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Not sure what happened there, but he just didn't get the right read on the coverage that time. Pass wasn't where it needed to be, and that'll send them back to the drawing board. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A first down and then some. Give him 29 yards. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. This gain not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Herbert. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. 65 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get... Open man, he finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Bears are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Well, with this rookie QB, we talk a lot about his ball placement and how good he can be at laying it right in there. I think we just saw, Charles, though, the strength of that arm. That was an absolute rifle for the completed touchdown. It absolutely was, and let's face it, you think he was really ready to get that first touchdown? Absolutely. He threw that pass with authority, just as you described. Big-time arm right there, and let's face it, a lot of quarterbacks used to be pitchers in baseball. The fastball was usually their best pitch, and we saw it there. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. 
Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football as they've got it with a second down and two coming up. Right back to Pitts again. And Pitts is going to pick up a Falcons first down as he'll get this up across the 30-yard line. Give him two on the play there. And the Falcons are going to get a first. Yes. Robinson up the middle. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Looking to throw on second down. Daniels. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. I haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder if he wasn't a first-round pick. They want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire defense if it meant reaching that marker. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 41. Off the play fake. Daniels, he's going to air one out. And that is incomplete. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Throwing again, Daniels. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you're definitely going to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Back to throw, Daniels. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 30. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And he's got it down to the 28. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. To throw on second down, Daniels. This will be caught inside the 10. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, be able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. Looking to throw, Daniels to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Operating from the gun, Daniels caught on the slant. Touchdown, Falcons! From eight yards out, and the Falcons are back within a score. Obviously, Brandon, they couldn't get it all back with just one score, but that touchdown chips into the lead, and now it makes the comeback a little bit more manageable. Now for the point after.
And that one makes it 14 to seven. So that one a long 11 play drive. And the end result in Atlanta touchdown. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. We switch the attention now to Khalil Herbert as this offense comes out for their next drive. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Second down and a yard. Back to throw. Williams. He'll get that complete to his tight end, Komet. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That one goes for 24 yards. Just a simple tap pass, but it pays off in a big way. And sometimes the simple stuff causes the most problems for a defense because there's a breakdown in communication there. When that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion, someone either has to go with him or he has to be passed off to another defender. Somehow they didn't get that communicated well, and it turned into a nice play. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. He's going to try and take off with it. Four yards there on the keeper, but still going to bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Looking to throw. Williams. That is caught, and he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going, and if points result, we'll call this play significant. Back to throw. Williams. This is caught. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter. 14 to seven. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Herbert. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Khalil Herbert 
with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bears go up by two touchdowns. A CD that's his second touchdown already. And how about this offense? Three drives, three touchdowns. An absolute total team effort right now. And let's face it, I don't think he's done. We're still in the first half. There's a lot of time left to go. I don't know what they're going to do on the other side trying to slow him down. But right now, he's feeling it. Santos with the extra point, and it's now 21-7. to Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter Trenton Gill to kick it away. This taken in right around the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Atlanta now coming out on the field. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Throwing on first down. Daniels looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Robinson. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. So the completion gets him just a yard, and that will bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. There he goes, left side. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown, Falcons. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Falcons get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Coup now for the point after. It's up and good. This becomes a 21-14 ball game now. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And the Falcons score to cap it off. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. Oh, a good return up past the 30. Past midfield. Still going. One man to beat. And he will score. Touchdown, Bears. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam and he got a full head of steam there. Santos now to add the PAT. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 28-14. And what a job there by all 11 on the kick return. The blocking excellent, the return excellent. The result, six points.
So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. This taken in at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And the Falcons now going to go on offense late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Throwing to start the drive. Daniels. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Operating from the gun, Daniels. And incomplete on the deep ball. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Operating from the gun, Daniels. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he's gonna have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 40. Falcons gonna use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. On first and 10, Daniels. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Operating from the gun, Daniels. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. I tell you what, that's a veteran play from a guy in his first season in the NFL. A lot of rookies are trying to force something there. He thought better of it, and that was the right decision. So on third down, the field goal unit will come out as they'll try to get three before half. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And that is no good. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. They'll start on the ground here on first down. On oh, a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan. And just like that, on we head to half number two. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three.
It'll be Falcons football, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. Taken at the goal line. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Oh, and that's kind of how it's gone for them so far. That was a ball they need to get back in this game. A quick strike, a big play. But he led his guy too far, and it winds up over his head. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the ten, back at the nine. That's sacked by Tremaine Edmonds. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. Throwing on third and long. Daniels. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. Oh, I don't know if he's sensing contact to come or what, but that's a ball he'd love to have back. That could have gone for big yardage, but it just didn't want to stay in his hands. That's a tough break. Here's Bradley Pinion now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50. First and 10. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50 yard line. Herbert now on the option. Taken down at the 47 yard line. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 47 now, they work with a second and seven. And they'll try to run the option here. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. He's going to keep this again. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. A good chunk on the ground on the keeper, 17 yards, first down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So after the incompletion, second and 10 from the 22. Off play action, Williams. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion wise way up, not that time. Now they face a third and 10 after back to back incompletions. Looking to throw, Williams. Touchdown, Bears! 
DJ Moore. A 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Now that's a drive that makes everyone happy on that bench because they accomplish exactly what they set out to do. Take care of the football, eat up a little clock, end up in the end zone. Now they've got a cushion for the rest of the game. So they didn't just help themselves offensively, they helped their defense out as well. Now the point after try for Santos. And he's been a busy man, five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So the drive there took six plays, and it concludes with a touchdown reception by D.J. Moore. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And here now come the Falcons. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand... They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. On first down, Daniels. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. Back to throw. Daniels. Throw left side complete. That's Robinson. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, sometimes despite the best planning, the defense actually has a plan as well, and they blanketed everyone on that play. They were able to close it down and spill him for a loss. On third down, Daniels. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. That's good for 28 yards. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. They'll look to throw again. And complete to Drake London. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helps to have a guy who can turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. From the 46, here's second down and five. Now flags come flying in. One of the Falcons moved early. Ball start. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. The false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. Back to throw again. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown, Falcons! A great effort there. 51 yards. And the Falcons are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. And three touchdown passes. You're right. He looks comfortable. What are they doing? Anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. 
Extra point by Koo, up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Chicago offense set to get started. Their lead down from 21 to 14, but still sitting in a great spot. Up two scores here in the third quarter. Now Williams throwing on first down. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and four. Here's the option. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. He may go. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. It's their quarterback, 68 yards. And the Bears are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. That's a pretty quick response to that last touchdown drive. And it seemed like they had maybe given up momentum. Uh, not so fast. No, not at all, because they end up pushing the lead up once again, and you're exactly right. Thought momentum might have been shifting. Instead, they grabbed old Mo, didn't let him get to the opposite sideline. Santos now to add the PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. Well, after the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Here are the Falcons as their offense heads back onto the field. And right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got to be pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. They start on the ground with Robinson here. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. And give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. Looking to throw on second down. Daniels throwing the slant pattern here complete. They'll give him four yards there, and it brings up third and five now. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal gain. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Daniels. And they'll bring him down one yard shy after a pickup of four. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Atlanta.
calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. Here's Williams throwing to start the drive. Throw on the right side, complete to Harrison. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Williams on first down and the Falcons get there the Falcons get the sack down he goes David Onyemata collapses the pocket and drops him for a loss of three that time finally a measure of revenge as they get him down behind the line it almost felt like relief didn't it because with the success he's had throughout this game you'd almost expect him to get free and pick up 10 to 15 every time he takes off not in that case, that has to feel good for the defense. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line, 12 yards needed to gain a first down. To throw on third down, Williams. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They've let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Atlanta. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, partner, Marvin, our number one stats guy, just handed me a little card that says he has 97 yards on the ground today. You think he's going to get the ball again? I think so. Three away from that century mark, got to have it. Yeah, and I think what they're going to call is one of his favorite runs, whatever he feels comfortable with, and what the offensive line has executed well today to try and get him over 100 yards. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he will have the Bears first down, and he's going to have it by plenty, able to get eight yards there on third and two. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's a give to Herbert. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. Another carry for Herbert on second down. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 113 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. 
That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. They have the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people have pointed out to me, this is a video game, man. <laughs> go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. Back to throw. Williams. That's to Moore, and he's got it. Touchdown, Bears. A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bears up the lead to four scores now here in this fourth quarter. Yet another touchdown in what has just been a high-scoring affair, a fun one to watch. And it's the rookie quarterback, Charles, coming through with yet another touchdown pass to pad the lead. Did we come into this game where defense was optional? Because it certainly feels that way, right? But when you look at the scoreboard, this rookie, he has his team moving a little bit quicker pace than his opponents. The entire offense is going to get plenty of praise, but I think these coaches have to be especially happy with what their quarterback has done. After the touchdown, here's the punter, Trenton Gill, to kick it away. Taking it about the one. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver, separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. Now a second and 10. To throw again, Daniels. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. The offense on third down, they've had good success. Five for eight to this point. This is third and 10. Looking to throw. Daniels. Ah, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. But big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. Till next time, we say so long from Atlanta.